who are about to get a lot of the Johnson Johnson vaccine, and it's a single dose, one and done. Once you're vaccinated, you're protected. In morning news now, the first doses of the newly approved Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be administered today. That means three COVID-19 vaccines are now being distributed across the U.S. So far, over 50 million Americans have already received at least one dose of the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine. However, the CDC is warning residents not to relax just yet as variant strains continue to spread. Governor Tony Evers is calling the Johnson & Johnson vaccine a game changer for Wisconsin. The state is expected to receive 47,000 doses next week of the newly approved vaccine. In Minnesota, more than 45,000 doses of the vaccine were shipped Sunday night and should arrive this week. Mayo Clinic Health System in La Crosse says it's averaging 750 COVID-19 vaccinations per day and things are running smoothly. Patients are in and out of the clinic within 15 to 30 minutes and they haven't had to cancel any patient vaccine appointments. Gunderson Health System says demand continues to exceed vaccine supply, but expects to administer 3,000 doses this week. Gunderson has given more than 20,000 first doses and more than 10,000 second doses system wide. Well, it was a cold start to the week and uh, the month of March yesterday with highs only in the 20s, but we're back into the 40s today thanks to south winds and some sunshine and those winds will gradually increase throughout the week. We're going to be in the 50s by early next week. Miguel Cardona will be sworn in as the U.S. Education Secretary today. The Senate confirmed his nomination yesterday, clearing the way to lead President Joe Biden's effort to reopen the nation's schools. He'll be asked to play a central role in achieving the president's goal to have a majority of elementary schools open five days a week within his first 100 days. The school district of La Crosse could be closer to that goal. Superintendent Aaron Engel says there have been very few COVID-19 cases under hybrid learning at the middle and high schools, and the virus hasn't been transmitted from students to adults. Engel says if this trend continues, students could possibly return to in-person learning by the fourth quarter. Students at La Crosse's Summit Elementary are being offered bottled water while the district waits on well test results. The city of La Crosse is testing some parts of French Island where the school is located for a dangerous compound called PFAS. The man-made chemical has been linked to infertility, thyroid disease, and cancer. Summit sits outside of the city's testing area, but so do other wells that have tested positive for PFAS which is why the superintendent says the district is not taking any chances. A new program is helping low to moderate income residents experiencing financial struggles because of the pandemic. Cooley Cap is operating the Wisconsin Emergency Rental Assistance Program. Eligible households can get direct financial assistance for rent, utility, and other home costs. We do have a link to a pre-screening form along with other details on our website, news8000.com. A local activist group is empowering La Crosse tenants to stand up for their rights to fair and affordable housing. Cooley Tenants United and River City Rentals tenants are protesting in response to how their landlord handled a recent situation. According to the group, the father of a tenant who died in one of River City's properties was not allowed to retrieve his son's belongings. Activists say this is one example of indecency and disrespect some landlords have toward their tenants. One in three families struggle to afford diapers and it can cost up to $100 a month per child. If you're a parent with young kids, you know how expensive diapers can be. That's why the Great Rivers United Way Emerging Leaders Group is teaming up with The Parenting Place to host a diaper drive. Diaper sizes four, five, and six are the greatest need. Donations can be made at a number of different locations that you see here on your screen, including festival food stores in La Crosse, on Alaska, and Holman. Well, it is a chilly start to this Tuesday morning. We've got temperatures in the teens and 20s, 19 degrees in La Crosse. You're coming in at 17 in Sparta, 18 in Eau Claire, and 21 degrees in Winona. But winds are picking up out of the south, so it feels even colder. Look at that wind chill just fell to five in La Crosse. Feels like one below in Preston, feels like seven in Eau Claire, and you've got that wind chill of four degrees in Viroqua and at Vogue Field. Now, it might be a chilly start. You might need to add those extra layers this morning 
morning, but our temperatures are going to warm very nicely this afternoon. Those winds are going to continue to increase out of the south and southwest, gusting to 30 miles an hour, highs in the 40s. All right, we want to thank you for sharing this hour with us, but there's much more to come in our next hour here on News 8 Now this morning. We hope you can stick around. We're taking a break.